Right, just a quick update. The ceramic element is now bonded into this old power supply case and uh, what I've done is I've just turned the, uh, the end panel upside down, put this into place and I've just run silicon uh, all around uh, the edges and I've got a sneaky feeling that's probably going to be enough to, uh, to secure it in place. Um, if I think that's probably not the case when I've finished with this and it's bonded you know, sometime tomorrow, I'll, uh, I'll perhaps just put some metal brackets uh, you know, in here, uh, something like that. So that bit's all done, and uh, I'm just going to show you this controller. Let me just slide this out of the way. Right, what I've done is uh, with this PID, and uh, this is the uh, the Rex C100. I have just pulled out an old thermocouple and uh, that is connected to pins 9 and 10 and uh, the positive terminal of the thermocouple is on pin 10 and then I've just connected uh, the mains up to pins uh, 1 and 2 and uh, when we power this up which I'll do now Right, what you can see is the, um, now this is flickering on the camcorder screen, I don't know whether it will be flickering when it's recording, it probably is, but basically you've got the out LED lit, um, this has obviously had the uh, set uh, temperature put at 200, and I hope you can see this and that's not flashing really badly. Um, and then you've got the uh, process value which is whatever the thermocouple is picking up and that's saying 8 degrees. I've got a, a Fluke 62 infrared gun here and if I just point that down at the uh, end of the probe we're getting uh, about 9. A minute ago it was on 8. Um, but yeah, about 9 and that's on 8. So yeah, that's, it's, it's pretty accurate. And if I just hold the end of the thermocouple, you'll see that that starts to to climb. And uh, if that reached 200 degrees, then you would hear the uh, the relay click, and uh, uh, that would then remove the power to the uh, the heating element. So, yeah, I haven't fiddled with any of the settings or gone through any of this yet, but we've got the data sheet and the instructions. So. Yeah, it's looking good. Um, looking good so far. So yeah, just a short update, uh, just to show you this PID working with the thermocouple attached, and uh, yeah, more uh, more over the next few days, hopefully.